Today we're talking about South Carolina, the reckless 90 year old driving down the wrong way of a highway. All this next on Armchair Sports Talk with us. So really, there's one place to stay. Will Muschan. He's done a good job. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, I watched, I watched his Florida team. So we, we both did. We've both been scarred by watching that, whatever you call, he used to put on offense. But, but here's the thing. This was a terrible hire on paper. He wrecked a Florida program that should always be top 10. They were horrible to watch. And you're hiring a Saban assistant. So basically the best you get is a lesser version of Saban with not the recruiting prowess. Yeah, that doesn't sound very good. Get it? It's kind of working. I say kind of because if you take a look at winner loss records, yes, nine and three two years ago they weren't nine and three. Two and five last year they were actually a lot better than seven and five. I think they're eighteen in SMP plus. Uh, they've been a lot better. And yes, they won a few games by most champ specials, winning really crappy games. They also won an amazing, crazy, fun game against Missouri in a stupid, fluky game that they had no chance of winning okay listen they're not georgia they're not bama they're not but they do play all of them good luck with that here's the thing south carolina is in the point where they have to know who they are they're south carolina and if they go seven and five years this year they're going to be real real happy their schedule is that brutal so let's get into it let's start with their quarterback jacob brantley he's good He's also a thousand years old. I, I swear to God, this guy has been around. This dude is ancient, it feels like. He's also going to be the top passer in South Carolina history, as weird as that sounds. Um, you know, he does never seem to progress to the point that he's elite, right? You never look at him and go, that, that, that's a guy that's on NFL radars. And NFL radars were putting Mitch Leidner and get Daniel Jones drafted in the top 10. They're real dumb for tall white quarterbacks. He's a tall white quarterback. I don't get it. We'll ignore that part. I wonder if getting thrown in early kind of has stunted his career. He's still, man, when you watch him, he'll look really, really good for a while. And he's had some talent, and I think he'll still have some talent at the receiver position. I, I like Jacob Brantley. I think he's an all-SEC honorable mention type of quarterback. I, I just – he's not who I think they have to have – to compete at the talent deficit that they're going to be at. Still, that's a relative strength of the team. Moving on to the wide receiver group, Edwards is a star. Debo losing sucks, and he's going to get more coverage. Don't care. Edwards is going to be awesome. He was awesome last year. He's going to get even better this year. Uh, and he, he's a true star. Him and Knox from the Missouri preview are, are probably guys that you may not have heard about but are really good and really going to light things up. I, I really like him. Um, I like their second receiver, Smith. He's played a lot of football. You know, he's not necessarily a burner, but he's a good, solid receiver. They've got some slot guys that I like. Overall, should be pretty good here um, and have a chance to really be excellent, honestly. Um, I, and I think this should be a pass-first team, as it has been in the past. And I think you rely on, you rely on Brantley, you rely on Edwards and you hope you can put enough points through the air because goddamn that running game is just not going to cut it. It was terrible last year. I think it was in the nineties. Um, I don't really see it get better all year. I don't love the running backs they have. Um, yeah, it, it's just, it, it's bad. And I just, just, I just do not see it getting better. Um, you know, even the kind of previews seem to be kind of down on it. And even the local sites that are always hype about this brand new guy is kind of like, okay, maybe we get to be okay. And that's the goal is okay. Um, but with not having a back, it's a true talent. And then with, you know, I think their OL being not really inspired. Um, I don't see it being inspired again. They have some guys coming back. It's not like a total rehaul. Um, they've got some experience, but man, they sucked at line yards last year. I think they were like 90th in the country at line yards that were not getting push. Um, actually, it might be the running backs maybe weren't a disaster given them being 90 in line yards. Um, here's the thing can they protect Brantley is more important. Um, I didn't do a great job of it last year. 
And, and I don't see it being worse, but like the same is what I think you're going to look at. All in all, probably a pretty good offense that will probably get crushed by a joy. But it also has the chance to, with the receiving talent, with Brantley, maybe surprising in a game or two when people get just really hot. Um, there's a lot of chaos, I think, in that offense. And I, that, that's what I want out of my mid-tier teams. I want chaos. Or, you know, great. That's, but listen, I'll settle for chaos. Chaos is fun. Um, D-line, can Bryson Williams stay healthy? He's really productive when he's healthy. I think that's, I think that's a huge, huge component for them. They, they need a star because they just don't have the depth talent overall. And I don't, I don't know if they've got it. Um, they really need their five-star guy, Zach Pickens, who was a defensive end who's like 295 right now, um, to add some depth to him. It's, there's bodies here, right? The, the good part here is there's not like just, oh, man, someone goes down, we're in trouble. There's a lot of bodies here, but they are really relying on a few players, specifically Bryson Williams and Ken, Ken Law, stay healthy. He hasn't shown he can, but if he can put together, you could see another jump. Um, this is a pretty variable line to me. Like, I don't think it's going to be bad, but it has upper SEC potential, which I think is real interesting. Um, linebackers are strength. Brunson is a star. Um, he is a true and out-and-out star. And they're going to rely on him a lot to probably cover up some risks with everybody else. Um, I, Green was terrible last year. They're giving him hype, but it seems like this hype of a guy that's got to pan out. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be how much Brunson can do to protect everybody else. He can do really good. The problem is the linebacker in the wrong gap is a big problem. Um, uh, inconsistent with flashes of greatness from a linebacking crew probably seems accurate to me. And to be honest, that's, Carolina. So it's good to see that they have a the brand that they're looking on. And with Muschamp, a exciting brand is weird, but but good. Um, Horn and Makuma, who I'm probably mispronouncing, are real good college players at DB. Uh, I think they're a big reason why Zelda Carolina was pretty good in explosiveness last year. And I think are secretly maybe the most important guys on the team, since it seems like a team that can give up a lot of big plays. If they can you know, hold things down to 10, 15 yards, hell, 20 yards. I think that'll be a good deal, and I, and I think they might be. Um, outside that, ask him later at quarterback. Um, ask him later um, at safety. Uh, if someone goes full wide on them, God help them, because while Horn and McCoon are good, there is concern outside that, and safety has a lot of names. No one's really been good. They do have the bodies where I think decent is, is likely – but, again, very, very variable here in, in the back. Um, you know, in some ways, this is a breakout team. But a breakout's not possible here. It just, just with the schedule, you're not beating Georgia. You're on the road. You're not beating Clemson. You're not beating Alabama. You know, you have Florida. Missouri, I've already talked about, I think is good. Um, I believe they play Texas A&M as well. Man, they can wreck somebody's year. Looking at you, Georgia. This defense could take a pretty big step forward. Um, I think that this offense has the chance to be, while maybe inconsistent, explosive at times. Yeah, man, 90-year-old grandma running down the wrong way. It, it's not may not end out well with them, but somebody's day is going to be ruined. All right, guys. Let me know what you think by dropping a comment below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to future episodes, also share with your friends, check out the merch store, support the show. For more Chair Sports Talk, we'll see you next time.